UK military faction to occupy Sudan aerodrome as removal of British citizens' planes assemble in rapidity. Military regiments fly British residents to Haven, after airlifting them out of Sudan to Cyprus before flying to the United Kingdom. Hundreds of British nationals have been flown to safe shelters from Sudan as UK troops organised to controlling the airfield. Two Royal Air Force planes have touched base at Larnaca Airport in Cyprus as of 6.30am on Wednesday, with the first commissioned flight to return to London set to leave later in the day. Families with juvenile kids were including those on the initial flights. Three aircrafts had left battle-plagued Khartoum for Cyprus by Wednesday morning, with PM Rishi promising many more would ensue as he warned of a critical 24 hours. Approximately 1,400 armed recruits who are military trained are involved in a high-level removal of UK citizens. Between 200 to 300 UK passport owners and their nuclear family. Associates have been flown out of Sudan so far as the army haste to get individuals to safer environment before the end of a 72-hour truce which came into force and validity on Tuesday. I quote, We are now commencing an extensive operation, working with over 1,000 personnel from the RAF and the armed forces, Home Secretary Sweller Braverman reiterated on Sky News on Wednesday morning. With British nationals, dual nationality and their wards obliged to make their own way to the Wadi Syedna airfield where the removal and evacuation flights are taking off from, Ms Braverman safeguarded the UK's reaction. Against the watershed by saying and I quote, it's unfair to compare UK to other nations. She told ITV News and I quote, we have a unique situation in Sudan, for historic reasons, for diplomatic reasons, we have a larger number of British people in Sudan than other countries, therefore we have to ensure our diplomats are secure and nationals are supported. Sweller Braverman professed that the Prime Minister is leading the, and I quote, incredibly intensive operation. Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said the UK would assume the responsibility of the Wadi Saedna airfield near the capital, from German Marines, after Berlin said its ultimate removal flight would depart on Tuesday evening. He said 120 British troops have previously been supportive during this process. British citizens have been giving specific instructions to head straight to the airstrip, with some dreading and sensing calamity due to artificial fuel scarcity. United Kingdom military will use all necessary force to protect and safeguard their citizens if they come under severe attack during the evacuation procedure at the airstrip. UK government contingency plan is seaborne evacuation from Sudan port several miles away from Khartoum. HMS Lancaster and the RFA Cardigan Bay have been shipped to wait for British nationals. All Europeans like the Germans, Italians, Spanish, Greece and the rest with their national there are all been evacuated by their countries. Approximately 295 civilians have been executed and 1790 wounded. On the tens of thousands of Sudanese on the move, these were the scenes at the border with Chad today. The World Food Programme has told us they're preparing for 100,000 refugees coming through this border alone. Horak O'Brien, well, the Defence Secretary, Ben Wallace, joins me now from Westminster. Thank you for joining us. How many people do you think you can get out tonight? Well, I think we've got two plane loads that will go out tonight. Uh, we can take, really, who turns up at the moment. And, you know, what, what we've learned from both seeing the German and the French evacuation is... You know, this is, first of all, not like Kabul. There are not thousands at the gate and people are making their way. They're being processed. We have a border force and foreign office team on the ground uh, and then we're loading them up. So so I think I think, you know, there is some risk that some of the planes are not full. Uh, we've seen that in the German planes and and they've they've then resorted, understandably, to take uh, some other fellow foreign uh, 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 personnel there I I if there's room. So that's what we're going to plan. We're going to plan on filling them if people turn up and processing. We are managing to process. As I'm giving this interview right now, one of the planes is loading uh, and there'll be another one uh, tonight and then there'll be a number of planes tomorrow as well. We're going to keep going, doing this, uh, bringing people out. I mean, people are understandably afraid because they've been being told by the British government for days it's too dangerous to leave their homes. What is your advice to them um, when they can hear gunfire and they're hearing reports of people being held up at checkpoints as to how to get to the airfield safely? 
Well, I mean, th that's incredibly difficult. I mean, you know, every case is different. It depends where you are. So, so one of the reasons the diplomats uh, and their families left was where the British Embassy was, for example, was between the two warring factions' headquarters. And some of the fighting at the time was concentrated in the sort of diplomatic quarter. Uh, and, you know, it's different in different parts of Khartoum. And there, there are parts of Khartoum that are not uh, a war zone, as your uh, journalist was reporting. So it is a case-by-case -case basis. It's very hard for any government to give, a, you know, a, a bespoke uh, advice. So what we tried to say is, you know, at the time, and as people were working out what was going on, because this is, is a sort of almost chaotic uh, uh, conflict, it's very hard to know when it's going to flare up and where the ceasefires are held, is first of all, the advice was stay low, stay at home uh, is one of the best things to do. But, you know, we look at the conditions on the ground and the humanitarian point that the World Food Organization was talking about, as supplies get low, obviously, the risk factor, the balance between the different types of advice of make your way out or stay home changes. Yeah.